Look at this guy stealing my lug nuts. What the hell? <laughs> All right, so welcome to Winter Wonderland. Um, here in Edmonton, it snowed a crazy amount over the weekend. Have a look. It's got a nice path cleared out to my car here, but like, Corey's already kind of went through with the bobcat here, but tons of snow over the weekend. So, kind of uncovered the car over there. So what I'm gonna be doing with the car today is I'm going to pull it in and uh, start the paint prep process on the cage. So I'm going to go ahead and take my dash out, um, just some rewiring under there that I'd like to get done. Um, at this time right now, I'm just kind of waiting for parts. I've got a little bit of a dead spot in my schedule, so I'd like to uh, try and get some other stuff done that, that I don't have to wait for parts for. So this cage is hopefully going to get painted soon. Okay, so I've got some interior out, like the seats and stuff. Did a little bit of rewiring in the dash there, not totally finished, but once everything goes back together and I know where things are going, then I'll tuck things a little better. Um, now, just going to actually start prepping the cage for paint. I've got all the harnesses off, all of the cage padding off. Went ahead, picked up some of these Scotch-Brite pads, of course. Same process as the um, as the engine bay. We got the final wipe solvent, so going to just kind of scuff the surface with the scotch bright pads and then wipe it down with the final wipe solvent and then hit it with some paint. Um, I'm not going to be spray painting it. I will show you guys what I'm actually going to be doing um, after the prep process. Yes. What's going on here? Oh, it's focusing on my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, and I think I like just, just nudged it too. That, uh, you got the tires on it. Alright, so all finished up now with the prepping process. Um, obviously hit it with the scotch brake pad and then cleaned it up with some final wipe solvent. You can see some of that surface rust from before. If you saw any of it before, it's kind of gone now. The cage actually looks pretty decent, all scuffed up. It'll look even better with some paint. It is getting kind of late though, so I'm going to come back tomorrow and then show you guys what I'm going to do about the paint. All right, so today is cage paint day, and here's the plan. So I've got some of this Port 15 rust preventative paint. Now this stuff is like extremely strong, and you can actually use a brush for it, and it self-levels and actually looks pretty good. Um, I did get it in gray to somewhat match my engine bay. I'll show you guys an example of what that looks like. So Lido painted this subframe on the Datsun with the same stuff with a paintbrush. And like as you can see, there's like no brush marks. Like it actually looks pretty good. It looks as if um, they sprayed it. So using the same stuff, just in the gray color. So I've got my contacts because I don't like to paint with my glasses on. My filters and cartridges for my ventilation mask that I got. A wide and thin kind of paintbrush to an, a two inch and a one and a half. We've got the paint, some extra cups and containers and stuff. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this started.
All right, so first coat is done. As you can see, it actually turned out quite nice. Um, the way that it kind of levels out with the brush almost look, makes it look like it's sprayed. Um, it'll look even better once we hit it with a second coat. But yeah, I like the way this has turned out. I just had a quick bite to eat and then we're gonna hit it with a second coat. All right, cage paint is all done. Um, went ahead and did a second coat. Looks way better now. Kind of covered all the random areas that weren't covered by the first coat, any of the imperfections. It actually dried to a nice kind of glossy finish too, so it looks awesome. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Cage is painted, no more rust problems. It actually matches the uh, Matches the engine bay quite well for a different um, brand of paint. But yeah, we're going to let this dry overnight and then maybe come back on Monday and put the interior back in and then go from there. Thank you guys for watching this video. In the next episode of Marco Monday, um, I'm going to do a video of some of like my drifting runs from 2017 and previous. Uh, just kind of maybe do like a top 10 favorite runs that I have caught on camera. So stay tuned for that. Do some exciting drifting stuff. Much more of that to come in the summer. Make sure you give this video a like. Go ahead and comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. See you guys next time. Because you lie, lie, lie. You're so good at it. You lie.